Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video, guys. Okay, so today is the release date for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So mine has just been delivered. Okay, so this is the box. Okay, so I paid £1,150 for this from Argos UK. So this is the 128 gigabyte version and it's in the burgundy colour. To be honest guys, I did not want the burgundy colour. Um, when it was announced, I saw pictures of the Ultra and I really wanted to get the green colour. But Argos UK did not have the green colour so I had to settle for the burgundy colour. So anyway, I'm just going to cut the seal on the box and then let's just take a look and see what comes inside the packaging and remember guys do not accept the phone if the seal is already cut Okay, so this is the phone on top. And this is the burgundy colour. Okay, let's put that to the side for the moment. Okay, so there's also another little package in here with the SIM ejector tool. The USB Type C charger cable. There's no charging brick, but I do have my 25 watt charger from my Galaxy Note 10. So that's what I'll be using to charge this beast. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Okay, so there's a quick start guide and a few little leaflets with different languages so United Kingdom, Ireland and <laughs> can't really pronounce the rest of us I know this one's German, Deutsch and that's it nothing else in the box that's empty Okay, so the SIM ejector tool, make sure you put this away safely. Um, it can be easily lost, so make sure you do put that away somewhere safe. Okay guys, so this is the main star of the show. So this has a 6.8 inch display. And on the back, let's check out the camera system. So this camera here is a 12 megapixel camera, ultra wide. And this camera here is 108 megapixels wide. And this one below it is the 10 megapixel telephoto lens. And this one here is a second 10 <coughs> megapixel telephoto lens as well. So both of these are capable of providing 100 times zoom so you can you can use it to zoom in to the moon at night and here we have the flash and above it we have the auto focus sensor okay let's take off this plastic okay so we have the samsung brand in here so the burgundy colour, it actually looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than um, the pictures that I've seen. When you're actually looking at it in real life, it does look a lot better than when you see it on the pictures or on the website. 
Okay, so on the front, we have the 40 megapixel front facing camera, which can be used for video calls. Let's take off this plastic. Okay, so we have the aluminium sides there. And the sides are burgundy as well to match with the color on the back. And this is Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, I believe it is. Currently the strongest um, Gorilla Glass on the market right now. I've seen a few drop tests on YouTube and this glass does hold up well, I must say. Got the Samsung brand in there, down at the bottom. Okay, so here on the side, on the right hand side, we have a volume rocker. Also, I believe this is the Bixby side key button. On the left hand side here, there's nothing whatsoever. Under the bottom, down here we have the new integrated S Pen. So it's black, it's not burgundy to match the phone. It is black, but the end here at the top is burgundy. Okay, let me just pop that back in. So we've got the speaker grill here and the USB type C charging port and also the SIM tray and I believe that's the microphone right there okay so let's go ahead and turn it on hopefully there's some juice So I'm just going to take you all through the setup process. Yeah guys, so like I mentioned, this is the 6.8 inch display dynamic AMOLED 2X with a screen resolution of 1440p. Okay, let's go ahead and start. So let me just choose my language. So English, United Kingdom. I'm just going to scroll through and show you all the different languages. And already I can feel that 120 hertz refresh rate. It's just so nice and smooth and quick look at that it's rapid okay so let's go ahead and select english united kingdom hit next and then agree to all of those agree again and then just connect to the wi-fi real quick back in a second Okay, so it's just checking the service provider setup. It says it's going to take a few minutes. Go ahead and restart. And I must say, guys, this device, it doesn't feel like a Samsung Galaxy device. It feels more like a Samsung Galaxy Note. I have small hands. 
even though it's a 6.8 inch display it just feels nice and easy to hold very comfortable in my hand trust me guys when i'm telling you the samsung galaxy s21 ultra was a lot harder to hold in my hand um, but this just feels nice and easy to hold okay so you can copy your apps and data using this option here so if you've got another phone just simply connect your other phone so if you if you've upgraded from the s21 ultra just connect your ultra s21 ultra to this device using your usb cable select the next option and it will take you through the process of copying the apps and data onto this phone but i'm just going to set up everything brand new so don't copy I'm going to skip the email part for now. Okay, choose your search engine. Okay, let's choose Google. Protect your phone. So from here you can protect your phone, add that bit of security using either face recognition fingerprints pattern lock or pin or password i'm just going to skip that I also forgot to mention this device is also IP68 water and dust resistant as well. So you can bring it into the swimming pool or the shower or the bath. You don't have to worry about it getting wet. But wow, the device looks very nice, I must say. Okay, so it's taken a few minutes. I'll be back once we get into the UI. Okay, so from here you can log into your Samsung account. But I'm not going to bother with that, so let's just skip. So you're all set up. Finish. Okay, so this is the UI. Okay, so it's just um, completing the setup. So let's go into the settings. I believe it's running Android 12, fresh out of the box, and One UI 4.1. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so yeah, One UI version 4.1, fresh out of the box, Android version 12. And there's really not any bloatware. Okay, let's check out the wallpapers okay so these are all the preloaded stock wallpapers that come on the device And these are all the widgets. 
but you can download more. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. Um, stay tuned, I will be uploading some more videos on this beast. I forgot to mention as well, this is the eight gigabyte model. Um, I would have much preferred if it had come with 12 gigs, but there's also the new RAM plus option that you can um, add more RAM to it using the internal storage. So I think that's why they've only provided us with the eight gigs because you can manually add more RAM. Anyway, that's it for the video for now. Like I says, I will be uploading some more videos on this beast. Stay tuned. It's your boy, the Android Doctor. Remember to give the video a thumbs up. Um, let me know if you've ordered the device, if you've got the device already. Let me know all that good stuff in the comment section down below. It's your boy, the Android Doctor, and I'm out. See you in the next video, guys. Doses.